Hi everyone, my name is Mackenzie with Lincoln Electric System and today we're going to read a book called Flick a Switch, How Electricity Gets to Your Home. Featuring Jojo and her little dog Willie. It's getting dark. You flick a switch. The room lights up. Electricity made it happen. But how? Where did the electricity come from? And how did it get into your home? Nobody invented electricity. It has always been here. It was here when the earth began. It was here in the time of the dinosaurs. It was here when people came along. But it took a long time for people to, to discover it. There are little bits of electric power in everything. These little bits are called electrons. Some are in the air, some are in rocks, there are even some in you. Don't you love dinosaurs? Mmm, I do, said Willie. There's electricity in you too, Willie. Get it off me! Sometimes your hair stands up when you brush it. That's the electricity in your hair being stirred up. It's called static electricity. Static electricity can't make your computer run, but it can do funny things. Even after people knew there was electricity, they didn't know how to use it. They worked heavy machines by hand to do many jobs. They made their clothes with needle and thread. They used fire to light their homes and cook their food. Static electricity stays in one place. Yeah, but I don't, said Willie. Cooking inside with fire can be dangerous. I don't care where it's cooked. Let's eat. But over the years, people experimented with electricity. They wanted to find ways to use it. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin proved that lightning was a form of electricity. He flew a kite on a stormy day and held onto the kite string with an iron key attached to it. When lightning flashed, electricity traveled along the wet key string through the metal key and zapped him. Benjamin Franklin was smart. I'm not so sure, said Willie. When too many electrons collect in one cloud, they get pushed out in a burst of lightning. Lightning is powerful. It can cause fires and do damage to trees and houses, and it has killed people. Benjamin Franklin was lucky. His experiment could have killed him. In 1831, Michael Faraday put a magnet inside a coil of copper wire. Then he moved the magnet back and forth. The magnet stirred up electrons. Electric current flowed through the wire. That was the first generator. The more a generator turns, the more electric power is produced. Faraday found a safe way to make electricity. Batteries or electric cells were invented by Alessandro Volta in 1800. We use them now to make toys and flashlights and portable CD players work. Some are even big enough to start car engines, but it takes a power plant to generate enough electricity for a village, a town, or a big city. Thomas Edison set up the first electric power station in New York City. From his power station, he lit up the city's first electric street lamps in September of 1882. Inside a power plant, a generator turns. A large magnet inside stirs up electrons. The generator must keep spinning to produce electricity. A, lar a turbine, a large wheel with blades, keeps the generator turning. Thomas Edison was one of America's greatest inventors. He did a lot of experiments using electricity. His inventions included the phonograph, the printing telegraphs, and the electric light bulb we still use today. Many power plants use water to turn the blades of their turbines. Water comes through a pipe and pushes the blades. As the blade turns, the generator spins. Power plants that use water to work their turbines are called hydroelectric plants. Hydro comes from the Greek word for water. Other plants use steam, wind, nuclear power, fossil fuels such as coal or gas, or even the sun, solar power, to make their turbines spin.
So in this picture, you can see, you can see how electricity comes from the power plant and gets all the way to your home. Electric power is sent from a power plant to your town along metal wires. Electric power that is moved on wires is called electric current. It is easy for electrons to move along metal. Metal is a, condu is a conductor. A conductor allows electrons to move through it. The metal wires are covered with plastic. Plastic is an insulator. Electrons cannot move through plastic. The plastic coating keeps the electrons from escaping and they keep moving along the metal wires. Great, I love trains all aboard. It's not that kind of conductor, Willie. Electric current is measured in voltage. It travels from the power plant to a transformer. The transformer increases the voltage before it, go before it goes on its long journey. Tall towers hold the wires above the ground. They are kept out of reach because the strong current can be dangerous. When the current gets close to a town, it goes to a substation where the voltage is lowered. That makes it safer to use. In the town, wires carry the electric current into hospitals. The electric current runs machines that save people's lives. The current goes to factories too, where more machines make all kinds of things, such as sneakers, bikes, and even ice cream. The electric current is sent wherever it is needed. It goes to buildings and parks, to streets and houses. It goes to your school. What do you think of all this ice cream, Willie? It's cool. At your house, wires carry electric current up through the walls. Your TV set is plugged into an outlet in the wall. Flick, you switch it on. The current travels through the wires to the switch. The TV set goes on. When your program is over, you flick the switch off. The current stops and the TV goes off. Oh no, not another cooking show, said Jojo. Oh yum, it's time for my favorite show said Willie. Some people still do not have electric power. One day, they too will have it and their lives will be changed. One third of the people in the world, two billion people, live without electricity. That means they have no medical equipment to help the sick, no refrigeration to keep food fresh, no electric lights for their streets and villages, and no computers or TVs. It's time to go to sleep. You flick a switch, the light goes out, and now you know why. Good night, Willie. Good night, Jojo. Thank you all for joining me and reading Flick a switch, how electricity gets to your home. I hope you learned a lot and you join us again next time. Thanks.